In Unit 2, we will familiarize ourselves with the academic principle of accuracy. This unit is divided into four sections. Let's get started with Section 1, Observations of Rules and Norms. The principle of accuracy implies that rules and norms are obeyed. There are certain general rules and norms that exist inside as well as outside of the academic world or scientific community. Spelling and Grammar Correct spelling and grammar is important in order to enhance receptiveness and to avoid ambiguity of presented research work. Algorithms and Calculation Rules it should be self-evident that calculations should be free of any mistakes. The value of academic work and its credibility are based in the alia on correct computations. Furthermore, there are specific academic rules and norms that exist predominantly in the academic world. Referencing and Citation Verifiability of propositions and conclusions is of utmost importance in the world of sciences. Correct referencing and citation allow for verifiability of research work in a consistent and traceable way. Formatting and presentation Academic documents and academic presentations imply an appropriate formatting of the work to be prepared, submitted and presented. Although different forms of documenting and presenting might be adopted, a certain seriousness and academic credibility will be expected. Section 2. Intersubjective Comprehensibility In the context of scientific work, the words objective and objectivity are often used in order to qualify the research process and the research output. However, this wording is incorrect. Let us have a closer look at the underlying problem. Typically, a student or one or more researchers will generate results that stem from a student or an institutionalized research project. The recipients are, in the case of the student, the instructor, or in the case of the researchers, their research community, and everyone else who is interested in the results of a given research project. Anyhow, we should note that in both cases, one or more subjects present their findings to one or more subjects. Often the idea is that a research project has been conducted with due diligence and objectiveness. This is a misconception. Subjects can only report from a subjective perspective. Although desired, human beings can never achieve objectiveness. Therefore, it is better to use the concept of intersubjective comprehensibility in order to qualify a given research output. It means that what has been researched by one or more subjects can be comprehended, reproduced, retraced and or understood by one or more subjects that are the recipients of the research results. The principle of accuracy implies to provide intersubjective comprehensibility. The principle of intersubjective comprehensibility implies that the results of a research project can be comprehended, reproduced, retraced and or understood by recipients. Now, there are five aspects that can be used in order to determine whether the research output is intersubjectively comprehensible. Perceptibility Perceptibility means that the research question and or the underlying hypothesis of a research project have to be formulated in an apprehensible way. If no one understands what your research is about, it is not intersubjectively comprehensible. Traceability Traceability means that the research output has to be presented in a documented way that allows third parties the reproduction of conclusions. If an educated third party cannot reproduce your conclusions, they are not intersubjectively comprehensible. Reliability The aspect of reliability is closely linked to traceability. However, it addresses a specific aspect of research. 
Reliability means that the research output that has been generated by experimental or empirical research methods can be reproduced. Now, there are two dimensions. First, the researcher should be able to reproduce its own research output. Second, other researchers should be able to reproduce the research output as well. An example. A student uses a statistical software in order to simulate business scenarios for a master thesis project. Although the student uses the same data and the same settings, the generated probability distributions of the simulations are varying with each simulation run. The student is not able to reproduce the initial output. Here, a more or less substantial problem with the code of the statistical software can be suspected. Validity. The aspect of validity is closely linked to reliability. However, it addresses another problem. Validity means that the research output has to be generated with an adequate degree of preciseness with respect to the problem to be considered. An example. A student designs a market survey in order to analyze a given research problem. A questionnaire has been sent to 2,000 companies. The response rate is 0.1%, meaning that two companies have answered the questionnaire. Obviously, the results of the empirical analysis should not be used in order to support a precise conclusion. Falsifiability Falsifiability means that the research output has to be formulated in a way so that it is disputable, meaning that it is falsifiable. An example. A professor for marketing prepares a research paper that ends with the conclusion perfect marketing strategies exist. This conclusion is not falsifiable due to the imprecise adjective perfect. Another example. A professor for human resource management claims in a statement that leadership training will have an impact on the management of companies. Again, this statement is not falsifiable because it lacks precision. Section 3. Timeliness and Currentness The principle of accuracy implies paying attention to timeliness and currentness. Timeliness of references means that references have to be selected in a way so that they reflect the current status of publications in the field to be investigated. Caveat lector. Major theories, as well as groundbreaking thoughts and achievements, should be cited by referring to the historic sources. Currentness of data refers to the requirement that data in the form of quantitative and qualitative information used in a research project has to be up to date. Caveat lector. Historic data might be needed while working with time series or conducting longitudinal studies in order to derive trends. Section 4. True and fair representation. The principle of accuracy implies a true and fair representation of your research work. True and fair representation means that you have to act with integrity, impartiality and honesty. There are four aspects that can serve as indicators of a true and fair representation. Identification of a research problem. This means that one or more research questions have to be clearly identified and documented in a comprehensible way. The research problem has to be deduced from the title or inherent topic of the research project. No redrafting of title. A change of the title of a research project is strictly forbidden. Even if you are not able to deduce a research problem from the title of your project, you are not allowed to make any changes. This holds true for an examination situation as well as for officially sponsored research projects. No reinterpretation of the topic. Every title of a research project implies an underlying topic. An unauthorized reinterpretation of the underlying or implicit topic of a research project is not allowed. No manipulation. 
data, references and other information have to be stated without any modifications that change the nature of the evidence. Unfortunately, there are again and again cases of academic misconduct. You should keep in mind that students might face internal penalties imposed by the examination board. Professional researchers might face criminal charges and civil actions, as well as the end of their academic careers if they intentionally manipulate their research work.